Seismic activity at the La Soufrière volcano in St. Vincent continues unabated. In a bulletin on Thursday, 8th April 2021, authorities reported that steaming and smoking at the La Soufrière had increased. Residents, especially people living in communities close to the, vo to the volcano, were encouraged to be prepared in the event it becomes necessary to evacuate at short notice. In St. Lucia, the National Emergency Management Organization is monitoring the situation as St. Lucia is committed to receiving evacuees. The shelters that they would be um, accessing would be treated as quarantine shelters. Mm -hmm. So they would not be able to go out and mingle with the locals um, on arrival. They will do the necessary quarantine period. Um, the screening will be done with them. We have also worked with, with SLASPA and the Ministry of Health in terms of when they actually arrive on island, um, the, the ports of entries, the, the screening, etc., the transportation from the ports, mm -hmm. whichever port is used, um, to the, the shelters. Nemo is also preparing for the possible impacts on the local environment in the aftermath of an eruption. We have looked at the PI secondary and the Blasha primary. The Blasha primary would be our first point, our priority for evacuation, followed by the PI secondary. And if needs be, we will fall back on the Stanley John Odlum secondary. Um, the Blush up primary is, is used prim as a priority because we know that some people have, have a lot of respiratory issues. So we want to take them as far out of the zone as possible um, where they will not be affected. The asphalt is likely to, to compromise people's health issues. It, is, um, it, may co it will cause air quality issues. Deputy Director of NEMO, Maria Mida.